Yeah, I definitely want to talk about it again. A true everybody just comes and joins and makes I feel this a family affair. But I think it comes from Matt, you and Ben, just the way you guys went about assembling this group of folks, the folks you chose to do it, and then also how you guys set about with the artist equity. But talk about all of those sort of, I, I would say, not competing, but very high priorities that you had for this film, honoring the sports, honoring the artists that you brought along to it, honoring Michael Jordan, and how you guys balanced that as you were trying to tell this story. Oh, and, you know, star in it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, it, it all started with the script, really. Um, and that's down to Alex uh, at the end of the table. It, we, but I just thought it was so great, and I didn't, I didn't know the story, and um, and so, and then it was kind of step by step, I'd say, because the first step was uh, getting the blessing of Michael Jordan to even, because you know, before we got too excited, Ben said we should go see him, and I, my kids were up to something in New York that, and I couldn't go, so Ben went to Florida to see Michael and. And, and Michael said, no, it's fine if you make the movie. It's okay with me. Um, but Ben said, well, what I really would love to know is what's most important to you. And mm. it was out of that meeting that he said, George Raveling, uh, Howard White. And then he started to talk about his mom. And Ben called me afterwards and, and said it was, you know, Michael's a very intimidating guy. Yeah, he told us. He told us about it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's an intimidating guy. And, you know, and he's an icon and he's all of these things and he has all this meaning for all of us. But um, but but he he Ben said he had this look on his on his face when he spoke about his mom that I'd never seen before. And so so that was the um we felt like we okay well now we know what the movie is right we th and he he said the only bad news is we have to get viola davis if we don't get viola davis we can't make the movie so <laughs> so that was when we we started uh thinking about how to uh expand dolores um and uh and that's really you know one of the great things about you know this cast is that everybody is really a filmmaker Mm -hmm. You know, um, these two sitting next to me are A-list producers, mm. right? Um, the Woman King, anybody? Yeah, no? I was just going to say. <laughs> um, you know, uh, Marlon, Chris, you know, they're writers as well as actors. You know, they're filmmakers. And Jason Bateman's a director, producer. You know, so, so, and that's what we, like, we really lean on our actors. And part of our process has always been from Goodwill Hunting all the way till today. It's like you know lean into what your actor's bringing and and the actor always is in the moment and always knows and we and we had these conversations with Viola like if it doesn't feel right like what what do you feel like here yeah. you know because it's all that's always the way to the best scene yeah